guys, welcome back. If you guys are new here, my name is Caitlin. We're doing a what I eat in a week. I've only done one of these videos before and I feel like it was kind of a flop because I went out a lot that week, but this week I have literally so much to do for work. It's gonna be such a stressful week. I have a lot of studying to do. I have my personal training exam on Friday morning. So I'm literally not leaving the house unless it's to like get out for a walk or go to a workout or something like that. So I thought it'd be a perfect week to show you guys a realistic what I eat for meal recipe inspo. This is obviously not an educational video. It's literally just for entertainment purposes. And you guys know I love cooking. I love fueling myself. If you are new here, I've talked about this a lot, but I eat intuitively. My philosophy with food is I have zero food rules. I eat to feel good, but I also want to feel good emotionally, physically, all the things. I work out a lot. I like to feel good and fueled for my workouts. So that's what today's video is. I hope you guys enjoy it. I just made my coffee this morning. I'm not gonna show my coffee every day because I literally make this coffee every single day. I use the Malk oat milk. I use the Elmhurst cashew milk. Sometimes I switch between cashew milk and almond milk. Usually just depends what I have. This is always sold out, but this is like my new favorite. I do feel like this kind of gives me eczema on my face a little bit, but it's worth it for how delicious it is. So I try and do that one like every other day. And then this is like the holy grail coffee product. It's the Thrive Market Maple Syrup Infused Cinnamon and Vanilla Bean Maple Syrup. It makes my coffee taste like, I don't know, heaven. I'm actually gonna head out of here and go to the gym really quick, but I obviously wanna get some food in my stomach before. I like to work out on like a full stomach. I always have like a full breakfast before I work out and then Unless it's like a super, super early workout. And then it kind of digests on my way to the gym. I don't live that close to my gym. So I'm going to make protein oats this morning. I'll set you guys up so you guys can see how I make it. But I'm really excited. It's been a week since I've had protein oats. And it's one of my favorite breakfasts. Okay, protein oats are done. I'm gonna have it with my coffee. I'm trying to do my coffee with my breakfast in the morning. And I'm also gonna grab myself a water. I'm trying to fill up my Stanley cup as much as I can throughout the day and drink water and just stay hydrated. But I ended up adding some chia seeds in here, the protein powder like you guys saw, frozen blueberries and some cinnamon as well. The protein powder I use, I have these little containers so you can't see what the protein powder brand is, but I'll put a picture of it on the screen. It's a Primal Kitchen vanilla coconut one. It's the best flavor ever, and I just really like the Primal Kitchen brand. And yeah, gonna have this, go to my workout, and then I'll see you guys a little bit later. Okay, we're back from the gym. Um, I bought this salmon off of Amazon. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm gonna put some chia seeds in here. And then I'm gonna put some chia seeds in here. 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 Hey, no chewing. I'm gonna roast this in the air fryer. I'm also gonna try cutting up the salmon into like little squares because I've seen TikToks like that and they're supposed to come out a little bit more like crunchy. So I thought that would be good. And then I'll just make rice and kind of do like an Emily Mariko salmon bowl because I'm still obsessed with those. So I'll probably do some celery snacks with it. Or not <laughs> seaweed snacks, am I okay? It's been a long day of studying, working, and I just had a really good workout. I did an upper body day at the gym, so I lifted, went in the sauna for a little bit, and now we're back. So, I'm super hungry. It's a huge bunch of celery. I'm not gonna make all this right now. I love celery. Why do I keep saying celery? This is asparagus. <laughs> okay, let's do this. It's probably gonna take me like 20, 25 minutes. Finished up making the salmon. I just heated up this brown rice in the microwave. We just used these little three minute microwavable bags from Trader Joe's or you can get them at Whole Foods, literally anywhere. I'm gonna do some coconut aminos. I really like this brand of coconut aminos. I get it at Whole Foods. I like a lot of coconut aminos. Now I'm gonna mix the rice with the salmon. I'm gonna do some sriracha. Also my favorite sriracha from Whole Foods. I've tried this with the mayo, but I actually don't like it with the mayo for some reason. Now I'm gonna do cucumber on one side. I'm gonna add some fresh dill, cause I have it and I love dill with salmon. Love sesame seeds. I'm gonna add some avocado too. Now I have the exact same meal for tomorrow, just meal prepped already. And I use these meal prep containers from Amazon. They're really cute and I feel like they're just like the perfect size 
I love them. I'll link them down below for you guys. And then you guys already know I have my ginger lemon Olipop. I've been obsessed with this flavor. And then I also have some seaweed snacks to eat with my bowl, which looks so amazing today. I just took the first bite. This is like the best one I've made. But I was also gonna mention, I'm not gonna do any snacks in this video because I'm a huge snacker. I snack all day. I literally was snacking before I made this. I'm also not someone to like make snacks, like cut up an apple and put almond butter on it and cinnamon and all that. Like that's just not me. I'll usually just have like pre-made snacks. So that's not really like a recipe. There's really no point in showing that. Coco, don't bite the table. Just wanted to mention that, but I'm gonna finish up lunch with my little seaweed crackers and then I have some studying to do and some work on my computer upstairs for the rest of the day. guys another day I'm actually getting ready to go to spin right now I've been really actually enjoying going to spin super early in the morning or even just like working out in general not even just workout classes I think it just like helps me get my brain started for the day and like get up and get after it so I've been really liking that I just made my coffee I haven't been showing my coffee every single morning because I literally make the same thing every day I do half oat milk, half almond milk, maple syrup, and either cold brew or espresso, whatever I have. Mm. Actual favorite part of my day. But before I go to spin, I actually wanna to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which is actually Squarespace. I've worked with Squarespace a bunch, and the reason why I love working with them is because I feel like it actually can help you guys. If you recently started a business and you're struggling with like your online presence, maybe you started a blog, YouTube channel, Instagram, like anything that has to do with an online presence, you need to know about Squarespace. It's honestly the easiest website to get to know if you are new to the space, or even if you're not. In my experience, platforms that try and help you create a website or a domain, anything along those lines, they can be so confusing, especially if you're just starting out. Squarespace is super beginner friendly. They also are just so much better than any other competitor because they have so many options. They have different aesthetics that you can choose from. You can add a comment section. You can actually link all your social channels, which makes it really easy for anybody who's on your website to find your other platforms, which is really important. You guys can actually use my code if you want to try out Squarespace. There's no commitment at the beginning. It's a 30-day free trial, and then you can use my code Caitlin Nolan, which will get you 10% off if you're ready to purchase a domain or website and if you do ever purchase a domain or website please share it with me I know a couple of you guys have done that and it just like makes my heart so happy to see all of your guys hard work and it's also gonna be so nice for you guys to see everything come to fruition so yeah just wanted to mention that I'm gonna go to spin thank you again Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and I will see you guys back for breakfast I'm very grateful for myself this morning because I made this last night it's overnight oats. I actually haven't had overnight oats in a really long time, but for some reason I was kind of craving it last night. I've actually never tried overnight oats with protein powder in it, but I did put protein powder in this last night. I'm debating if I want like a banana one. I usually have berries. I don't know why I didn't buy berries this week. At the grocery store, that's usually a staple for my mornings, but for some reason I forgot. I put like a lot of chia seeds in this last night on accident. This is more like chia seed pudding now. I would say I probably did like a third, a fourth or a third cup of chia seeds, a scoop of the protein powder, some cinnamon, some vanilla extract, and now I just added the Thrive Market infused maple syrup that I use in my coffee, and then I also added a splash of almond milk in it. This is my breakfast this morning. I'm gonna work on my computer, shower. I feel disgusting. That was like the hardest class today. I was dying, so sorry if I'm low energy right now, but I'll see you guys back for lunch. Okay, we're back. I should probably switch up the spot, but like this is just my kitchen So I don't know how to make this video not so repetitive, but we're about to cook some lunch I'm actually just gonna have the leftovers of salmon from yesterday. I showed you guys how I like meal prep the whole thing Which is just so nice on a day like today where I feel like I've just been so busy but I'm also gonna have one of these ginger shots actually because I got this shipment from Suja and I don't want any of them to go to waste this has antioxidants and probiotics, and it's a ginger shot. We'll take that together. I got ready today because I felt like I'd be more productive. Honestly, just because I know since I have no plans this week that I would probably just sit in my PJs for an entire week straight, and I don't feel good when I do that. And if you guys aren't new here, 
you know that I always do the things that make me feel better, like getting ready. So, cheers. Ooh, this one tasted like mango. Yeah, that was really good. Babe, do you want to take a shot? Of what? Um, just something that will really get you better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a sec. I'll take um, whatever ginger one is. Here, you need some digestion in your life. Here you go. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Like the baby last night. You haven't done in this vlog because it's what I eat in a week, so it's like not vlogging. But you might have met last night. Yeah. Easier than a regular shot? Yeah. It burns my throat. Really? Mine didn't burn. Okay. I'm gonna heat up my leftovers, mash up the salmon. Now I'm gonna put the leftover rice in there and I'm actually gonna put an ice cube and then a piece of paper towel over top and that kind of will moisten up the rice. That's honestly not my trick. If you have TikTok, you already know this trick, but it actually works really well. It is kind of crazy though, because when I pull this out of the microwave, the little ice cube like doesn't fully melt, which you think it would when you're microwaving food, but I don't understand science, so. My little drink of the day is this Lemon Love by Suja. It has lemon, stevia, cayenne, purified water. I've actually tried it before, it's really yummy. Thanks again to Suja for sending me all these. This better not be spicy. Mmm, that's super good. So good with avocado. All right, I'm gonna eat my lunch. I'll see you guys back in a little bit for dinner. myself tonight for dinner I just made a little burrito bowl you guys saw that I actually use my huge crock pot earlier today around like 12 o'clock I put some chicken in with pretty much it's super simple all you have to do is chicken broth or vegetable broth or bone broth a packet of taco seasoning and then a jar of salsa that definitely made my life so much easier I'm so happy I did that today because I've had such a long day of studying and just like staring at my computer, it's gonna be nice to have a yummy comfort bowl. You can make it more soupy too if you wanna add like more liquid to it, but I kind of did like an in-between. I added black beans, sauerkraut, the chicken, cilantro, rice. I would add avocado, but I don't have any more today. So, that's my dinner. I'm actually really excited to try the chicken. Okay. Mmm. Even if you don't like chicken, you would like this chicken. Mmm, that's how good it is. I've never met a person who doesn't like crock pot chicken. It's so like pull apart, flavorful, moist. A lot of people don't like that word, but it's so good. You guys have to try it. I'm gonna go lay on the couch, watch a little bit of YouTube, turn my brain off for the rest of the night, and I will see you guys in the morning. So I just had some water and breakfast to start off the day. I'm actually working out early this morning. I'm doing a glute focused workout. So I just wanted to get some food in my stomach. And I'm also going to grab a cold brew on the way to the gym. A cold brew oat milk. That's what I went to bed craving. So I just had some water this morning. You guys saw that. Read and journaled for a minute. I'll probably see you guys back after my workout for like a post-workout snack or whatever. Just wanted to say good morning. It's very hard to leave when she looks so cute. We're back. You guys saw I just had some lunch at Flower Child, did some studying. I'm honestly not feeling very great right now. I'm feeling like I'm getting sick. So I'm gonna have a ginger shot and probably a green juice too. This used to be my cure all. I'm saying that as a joke. I feel like Abby Sharp would like pause this right now and be like, that is not a cure all. But I do like the taste of this. It's the Mighty Green Suja and then 
obviously don't really love the taste of the ginger shot. I just like the placebo of it. If it can at least placebo make me feel better and I don't hate the taste of it, then I'm gonna continue having my green juice and ginger shots. But if you're a dietitian, feel free to let me know if this is just like a waste of time. It has apple, celery, cucumber, kale, and collard greens. I know there's like something about like, if you have one fresh versus if you have one that's in a container or if it's juiced or what. I don't know, I didn't even buy these, they were sent to me, so. Hopefully I start to feel better because I have a busy. <laughs> You're tired too, Cokes? All right, I'll see you back for dinner. Hopefully I start feeling a little bit better. Okay, it's been a few. I've been working on my computer pretty much all day long, as you can assume, but we're gonna go pick up some dinner tonight just to kind of get out of the house. And I don't really feel like cooking tonight and dirtying the kitchen because we just cleaned it and it's actually getting pretty late. I think it is probably like 6 15 so by the time i like cooked and stuff let's go we're gonna go to a place called urban plates i had it a couple of days ago and it was really good and i'm craving steak for some reason and hunter really likes a sandwich there so okay just got back we picked up the dinner i ended up getting some steak some sweet potato with some onion and bell pepper and then also some broccoli this is exactly what i got last time we tried this place and it was really yummy so i got it again and then i'm gonna use my favorite primal kitchen ketchup home from my workout. I made some eggs, avocado, I have a banana, same breakfast as yesterday, and then I stopped and got another coffee on my way home. I added some maple syrup to my coffee, but it's not mixing. It's like all at the bottom. Come on. Much better. I actually have a CPR class that I'm taking today because I need to get CPR trained before I become a personal trainer. So that's like an hour long class. It's like 30 minutes away, which sucks, but that's what you gotta do. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast real quick. That's why I woke up super early. I woke up at six to go work out at seven. I have like, I actually have to go because I need to get gas in my car. So, okay. I'll see you guys back for lunch today. Hi, folks. like one of my most repurchased items. This and obviously my almond milks every week. Like I always have this stocked. Just finished up making a snack plate. I honestly have no clue how full I'll get from this. I haven't made a snack plate in so long. So I'll probably just have like deli turkey or chicken later if I get hungry, but we have cottage cheese, apples, peppers, carrots, cucumber, sharp cheddar, the hummus that I love, little pita chips, pickles, and then the lemonade. Okay, welcome back. It's been a really long day today actually, so we ended up getting dinner out. Chick-fil-A. This is technically their spicy Southwest salad, but I got the actual nuggets on it instead of the spicy one. We want these. What's this? I'm gonna put my ranch dressing from Primal Kitchen on it. Be annoying and shake this up. Mmm. Yum. I'm gonna finish this. I have some more studying. My last day of studying. And I will see you guys in my next video. Good morning. Toko peed on my rug. You're so cute. I feel like this might be the cutest workout set I've ever put on. Like, it's so cute. I'm drinking a Mighty Dozen. Seven a.m. spin class scheduled, and then we're gonna get Starbucks, come home, have breakfast, and then I have CPR training at nine. I'm trying to do a clog clip today for spin. I've never done that before, but I feel like it'll keep my hair intact. So we're gonna try it out today. Shit. This is how cold it is right now. Wow. 
my vagina is so hard. I'm gonna run home, make breakfast, and then go to CPR. It takes like an hour, but I just do not feel like doing it. I'm so busy, but we gotta do it. Also, I feel like the claw clip worked so much better than having a ponytail like on my back the entire time. It got way less messed up, but like right here is still greasy, but <laughs> let's go get Starbucks. Finally, the sun is coming out in California. Starbucks cold brew, banana, eggs, avocado. Yum.